Hello everyone and welcome to our fourth and last lesson on mixtures. So we want to tackle this question which is asking you to find the ratio. So the question reads that Mweni bought maize and beans at 120 and at 50 shillings per kg respectively. Then she mixed them in a ratio such that after selling the mixture at 39%, at 39 shillings per kg she made a profit of 50%. So we are required to find the ratio in which she mixed them. So we'll start by saying let the ratio let the ratio uh, of mixture let the ratio of the mixture that is uh, maize to beans maize to beans we are letting that ratio to be m to n so we are letting m and n that is m and b let let m and b represent the ratio of our maize to beans so we'll just have our usual table here we have our usual table here so this is a maze so we had maize then here we have beans then of course lastly we have the mixture or the blend so we have the mixture then we are given so the first thing we need to have the ratio of the mixture we are told that uh, she's mixing the masses because we are talking of package so the ratio is in kilogram then uh, next we go to the cost per kg cost per kg so we have we have let the ratio to be m to n so the ratio for maize is m the ratio for beans is b so the total ratio or the mixture will be m plus b m plus b that will be the total ratio then from there the cost per kg we are also given so when you bought maize and beans at 20 per kg and 50 per kg respectively so the ratio for the maize is 20 shillings that is per kg the ratio for uh, beans is 50 shillings per kg 50 shillings per kg then of course we go to the total cost the total cost we just multiply so the mass m times 20 you will simply get 20 m the total here will be 50 times m you simply get 50 m so that the total uh, cost of the mixture we just take 20 m plus 50 uh, sorry this should be b because we are talking of uh, the ratio of uh, the beans was actually b so the total ratio here will be 20 m plus uh, 50 b 20 m plus 50 b then we can find the cost per kg so the the cost per kg cost per kilogram or what we call the buying price that is per kilogram the buying price per kilogram we just take the total cost total cost then we divide by the total ratio total cost divided by the total ratio so this will give us the total cost is 20 m plus 20 m plus uh, 50 b divided by the total ratio is m plus b that is from up here so our total ratio is m plus b so that is the buying price per kg then we are told that she mixed them in a ratio such that after selling uh, the mixture at 39 so in short this is the selling price per kg so we are given the selling price per kg we are given as uh, uh, shillings 39 so 39 shillings per kg then we are told that uh, she made by doing so she made a profit of 50 percent so find the ratio in which she mixed them so percentage profit percentage profit we are given as 50 percent so we know the relationship between buying price selling price and percentage profit so to find the selling price we usually take if the profit is 50 percent we just add so the profit should be equal to 150 percent of the buying price so we know that relationship so selling price we are told is 39 shillings per kg so we'll say 39 is equals to uh, 150 over 100 because she made a profit of 50 percent times the buying price so our buying price in this case is this particular value that has a known so our buying price is 20 m plus uh, 50 b divided by m plus b where m and b m is the ratio of maize then b is the ratio in which we mix the uh, beans so our so from here we can simply uh, simplify so we have 39 is equals to 150 divided by 100 of course 10 will cancel with 10 so that we remain with 1.5 into 
uh, 20m plus uh, 50b then divided by m plus b then from here i want to uh, divide both sides by 1.5 over 1.5 so that i remain with so 39 39 divided by 1.5 i'll simply get 26 so i have 26 being equal to 20m plus uh, 50b then divided by m plus b then i want to eliminate the fraction so i multiply both sides by the lcm which is just m plus b then of course this other side i also multiply by m plus b so that m plus b on the right hand side cancels out then i want to open this bracket so i'll just have 26m plus uh, 26b being equal to 20m plus 50b then i want to collect the like terms but in such a way that i avoid a negative so to avoid a negative i'll take 20m towards the right hand side and take 26b towards the right hand side 20m towards the left hand side so that i have 26m then um, uh, minus 20m being equal to this side we have 50b when 26 cross equal sign it becomes a negative 26b so this is simply 26 uh 26 minus 20 i'll just get 6 so this is a uh, 6m is equals to 50 minus 26 i'll simply get 24 so this is equals to 24b so remember we want to find the ratio of maize to beans we want the ratio of maize to beans so because i have um i have 6m is equals to 24b if i want the ratio of maize to beans First of all, I want to eliminate B from this other side. Huh? So I want to divide each side by B over B so that B and B cancels out. Now I have 6M over B being equal to 24. Then I want to remove 6 from this side so that I just remain with M over B. So divided by 6, divided by 6 so that 6 and 6 cancels. So M over B will be equal to 24 over 6 then remember a ratio must be in its simplest form so if i take 24 divided by 6 i'll simply get 4 so this one means 6 goes into 6 1 6 into 24 4 times therefore m over b is simply equal to 4 over 1 and therefore the ratio of uh, therefore the ratio of maize maize 2 uh, that is the ratio of m to b m to b is just the same as saying 4 to 1 that is from that relationship therefore the ratio of maize to beans will be equal to maize to beans will be equal to 4 to 1 maybe another person could have expressed it in terms of maybe the ratio of uh, beans beans to maize that ratio would have been you just in the chain so it will have been 1 to 4 so that is the expected ratio then we look at another similar question that is our example five which reads that grade a sugar costs 75 per kg and grade b sugar costs 50 per kg and they are mix the two grades and solve the mixture at 72 so same same procedure we have our small table here so we have grade a of sugar then we also have grade b then of course here is blend or the mixture blend or the mixture so the first thing is the ratio the ratio so here we are dealing with the per kg so the ratio is also in kilogram from there we go to cost per kg cost per kg and lastly we go to total cost total uh, cost so this will be we don't know the ratio so we can let uh, because we are asked in what ratio did she mix them so we can start by saying we can let the ratio let the ratio uh, the ratio of that is grade a to b be equal to let the ratio be maybe x to y you can use x to y maybe let the ratio be x to y or we can as well use a to b let that ratio be a to b or let me use a uh, different values x to y so if this is x then this is a uh, y so that simply means that uh, my total mixture here will be x plus y or my total ratio then my cost per kg um, given so grade a sugar costs 75 uh, 75 per kg so this one is 75 then grade b sugar it costs 50 per kg so this is a uh, 50 total cost will be 
uh, x times 75, which is just 75x, then total ratio y times 50, which is just 50y. So here, so my total, the total cost will just be 75, 75x plus 75y, 75x plus 70. Sorry, this should be 50. So this is 50. So this is a uh, 50y actually. Sorry for that. This is a uh, 50y. So the next step is just to find the cost per kg, cost per kg, which is just the same as the uh, buying price per kg, buying price per kg, which will be equal to total cost, the total cost divided by the total ratio, total cost divided by the total ratio. So this will be equal to total cost is 75x plus uh, 50y. So this is 50y. Then divided by total ratio is x plus y. So that is the total ratio. So in short, this is the buying price per kg. Then we are told that Angela mixed the two, the two grades and sold the mixture at 72. So in short, this is the selling price for the mixture. So we have the selling price for the mixture. That is per kg for the mixture. Uh, for the mixture. So the selling price we are given as 72. That is uh, Kenya shillings, of course, per kg. Then we are told that by so do in so doing, she made a profit of 20%. So in what ratio did she mix them? So we are given percentage profit as uh, 20%. Again, we know the relationship between profit, selling price, and buying price. That selling price should be equal to, if the profit is 20%, so selling price should be 120% of the buying price. 120% of the buying price. So the selling price we are given as 72 shillings. So 72 is equal to 120 over 100 of the buying price. The buying price is 75x plus 50y over x plus y. So the buying price or the cost price is 75x plus 50y divided by x plus y. So if I simplify, I'll simply have 72 being equal to, so 0 and 0 cancel, so I'll have 1.2 into 75x plus uh, 50y divided by x plus y. So I want to divide both sides by 1.2 over 1.2. So 72, uh, 72 divided by 1.2, I'll simply get 60. So I have 60 being equal to 1.2 and 1.2 will cancel out being equal to 75x plus uh, 50y divided by x plus y. Then I want to eliminate the fraction, so I multiply both sides by the LCM, so x plus y times uh, x plus y, x plus y. Of course, the x plus y from the right-hand side will cancel out, so that I have 60 by x, I'll just get 60x plus uh, 60y, being equal to 75x plus 50y. Then of course, from there, I'll simply collect the like terms i want to collect the like terms so i also collect the like terms in such a way that I, I avoid a negative so i'll take 70 60 to the right hand side then i take 50 to the right hand side so i'm doing so to just avoid a negative so on the left hand side i would remain with a uh, i would remain with a 60y minus 50y so i have 60y minus 50y being equal to on the right hand side i'll have 75 minus 60x, 75x, 75x minus uh, 60x, minus 60x. So of course, 60 minus uh, 50, I'll just get 10y, being equal to 75 minus 60, I think I'll get uh, 15. So let me just confirm. So this will give me 15x, so I get 15x. Remember, we wanted the ratio of... Um, that is A to B, and that ratio is X to Y. So I want to remain with X alone on this other side. So I'll divide both sides by 15 over 15. So that 15 and 15 cancels out. So I have 10Y over 15 being equal to X. Then I want to remove Y from this side so that I form a ratio over Y over Y. So Y and Y cancels. So I'll have 10 over 15 being equal to X over Y. Therefore, uh, remember, a ratio should be in the simplest form possible. So 5 goes into 10 two times, 5 into 15 three times. So that means 2 over 3 is equals to x over y. So which can be interpreted as x to y is simply equal to 2 to 
3. But remember we wanted to let the ratio, the question was to find the ratio of, that is A to B. And we had said that we let the ratio of A to B be X to Y. Therefore, it means that the ratio of A to B is equal to the ratio of X to Y. Therefore, the ratio of A to B will simply be equal to 2 to 3. Alternatively, you can also say the ratio of B to A will be equal to, if you reverse, the ratio is also interchange 3 to 2. So either this or this is acceptable as an answer. So we've come to the end of our class today. So thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this class. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy.